And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Are you a human? Says this game. Take the test. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Do you know what that means? This is a memory game. And if you're bad at memory, you're a human. Guess what? I'm superhuman. As in, I'm obviously a human. Because I'm really bad at memory. But that's what this game is. It's the year 2025. Robots have long since dominated the Earth. Now you have to pass the final. Who cares? Let's get into the game. So this game comes with a whole pile of tiles that have different features on them, one to four symbols that are different shaped symbols and different colored. Um, so you're going to take 13 of these and mix them with three short circuit tokens. You're going to take them all and you're essentially going to shuffle them around and then you're going to place them in a grid that is face up like this. So you're going to make a four by four grid. Everyone good? Everyone see it? Great. Now we flip it down like this and the game is ready to start. To play this game, we're going to be playing a little bit of memory. So one person goes first and the person to their left is going to say, all right, tell me about this tile here. And I can name as many attributes as I can think of. There are three different attributes here. I'm looking for a number, a color, or a symbol. I'm going to go with red. Okay, it's blue. That wasn't very good. <laughs> so I get no points. So if I say all three features, so if I had said, let's say I knew that was blue, and I was like, oh, I think it's blue batteries. So there's two blue batteries. Nope, there's actually three blue batteries. I get no points. Now, if I say red, no, it's still not red. If I say red, okay, red, and I get it correct, I get one point. If I say two things on them, like there are two batteries. I don't know what color they are, though then I'm going to get three points. And if I say there's two red batteries and turn it over, I get six points. If the person to your left points to a short circuit, I do remember where those are, I can be like, that's a short circuit. So now I can pick anything I want. Two red batteries. Boom! All right, and so if you name something, you're going to get points. I'm not really quite sure how you're supposed to remember these points. You probably just write them down in another paper. And you keep going. But once something is turned face up, it stays face up. And you're going to keep going until all the cards are faced up. When that happens, we bring out more things and we mix them up and we start another round and the fewest points goes first. And after three rounds of this, whoever has the most points is the winner. Well, these are pretty bad tiles, honestly. They're just blue with symbols on them. And why are they using red and green as two colors here to differentiate between? Why not like pink and... Uh, this is really bad for colorblind folk. But the whole thing just has this very like, hey, we just threw this together at the last minute. The tiles don't look that interesting. Um, and I was a little annoyed because these are short, short circuit tiles. And I knew that because of uh, nothing. It told me what came with the game, and I just guessed that those were short circuit tiles. It finally shows you over here. But for rules that are this short and that simple, ah, they should have been a little bit more explanatory. The game can be made harder or easier by having more columns and more rows and things like that. And there's more short circuit cards if you want to do that. My daughter just pointed out that this is 2025. That's like seven years from now. Robots are taking over that soon? Why am I doing this review? Uh, I'll be, okay, fine. I really feel like that should sum up the review, but, but what else can I say? It's a memory game, right? It's not a fun memory game. You are literally saying, do I know one, two, or three things that are over? Now, there are games that are like this. I just played one called Memoir, Memoir, which had a similar concept to it, but it was fast and fun. And this one is just kind of like, what's on there? I'm like, oh, it might be two red batteries. You are looking at a grid, memorizing everything in that grid, flipping it over and see who's better at it. That's the whole game. That's the whole game. And when you mix that memory, which I don't think that whole game is that fun. And when you mix that with really bad components, with a, a, a game where it's like, are oh, you a human? It sounds so fun on the outside, like, and that means nothing. They should have called this memory monstrosity. It's actually not that bad, I guess. It's just blah, 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 blah. Who am I recommending this to? The answer is no one. I don't know. 
I don't mind simple games. I don't mind memory match style games. But what's this one offering? It's, you're just trying to remember different characteristics, right? But the characteristics are boring. One, two, three, four. Red, yellow, green, blue, which don't help colorblind people. And batteries and wrenches and who cares. And it just looks blah. And it plays blah. And my review is blah. Dice Tower Judgment, Memory Madness! <laughs> <laughs>